Welcome to other edition to the Assassin's Sports Show and much more. Thank you for the love, appreciation you bring each and every day. Y'all the face to run the place. I cannot do this show without you guys. Thank you for likes, thank you for shares, thank you for your comments, and thank you for taking time to watch my videos each and every day, man. And thank you for the amazing comments y'all leave each and every day, guys. So thank you so much. Plus, guys, if you pass by the YouTube channel, you like the contact, you like the show, hit that subscribe button, become an Assassin today, guarantee you guys. This is the pregame show with the Miami Dolphins and Cincinnati Bengals. So, guys, let's get into it. So, if you didn't hear, Tua is starting for Miami. Great news for the fans. It's Tua time in Miami now. And this is going to be amazing. I think he's going to have a, a great game. I think he's going to throw for three, 320, three touchdowns. Um, he's gonna, Parker's going to have a big day. I think Gazicki's going to have a good day. Um... I think hopefully we could see Callaway in there a little bit more and see if he could do something. So I think Tua's going to have a special day today. Three touchdowns, 320. I expect for him nice game, a bounce back game from the, the one from Denver. Um, so really pleased that he's in there today so so he could start growing with these receiver cores. So off of the line, I think they're going to have a good game as well. Hopefully they could um, keep on gelling, keep on improving that offensive line. And I I think it's going to be a good game all around for the offensive line. I think defense is going to dominate. I think defense, Xavier how will get an interception. I think um, I think maybe Brandon Jones will get an interception. I've been saying it time and time again. That dude, it's time for him to get an interception. So hopefully it's today. His best chance to get a, a pick is today, so hopefully he gets it. Uh, I think Needham might get an interception in here. I think Miami's going to cause havoc. I think the Dolphin defense is going to cause havoc. I think they're going to they just gonna cause a lot of havoc. And there's going to be a lot of tip balls, a lot of interceptions. In this game, I, I, I count by three or four turnovers Miami's going to create on defense. Um, I'm, I'm just... I think the defense is going to have a huge game, and that's good because you want you want that defense to build confidence to going into the Kansas City game. So, so I think Miami dominates the, the whole game. Um, the score will be thirty four. I give them ten. I, I I don't think Miami holds them down that long. I I think because you know it's rough in the NFL, but I think they do hold them to ten points. Miami wins. Eight and four, baby, and we keep on moving to KC, and, keep, and let's see what happens there. But I do will, I, I, I do think that Tua has to improve his vision. He has to start throwing it up there, take a little bit more chances, because um, unfortunately he don't have that speedy receiver, so he has to take a little bit more chances and and rely on their receivers, because. Listen, Tua smart. Tua saw what Fitzpatrick did, and just throw it up to Parker, Gesicki. If they got a smaller guy, and they got a, a really small guy on them, just throw it up. And there's no way that guy could could get could get the ball from Gesicki. So, you know, you use that body type, back shoulder throws. Um, you know. Really quick throws, get the ball out of there in his hand quick, and and see what he could do. I I, I want the running game to get going here. I really do. I, I need that running game to keep um to get going, just cause to help Tua. You know, if you if you got the receivers going and the running game going, then you know what? Then Tua could it be easier for the quarterback. It's it gets a lot easier. So so get the running game going. Get get everything going, and I think special teams we should dominate. Um, but they do have a good special team. Cincinnati does have one of the best special teams out there, so I give them that. But I think Miami even set out. I think Miami is a, a better coach team than Cincinnati, and and they're playing with Cincinnati playing with their backup, so Miami should dominate. Um, go in and four, be in the playoff hunt and then go to Kansas, uh, and wait for Kansas City and see what we could do um, but again I'm so 
impressed by this coaching staff, these players. And when I say imp I'm impressed by them, because nobody expect Miami to be in this position. I did, but nobody else, the media, nobody thought Miami was going to um, jump this this early in year two of a rebuild. And they did. And credit to Stephen Ross, credit to Chris Greer, and credit to Brian Flores. I told you, Flores was a, a great coach because from last year, he fired people. He didn't hold them up. He holds his offensive corner and defensive corner accountable. And that's what I like. And and to me, that's a leader. The players love playing for him. So, they, listen, he's he, he should be coach of the year, hands down. But, again, I like where we're going with this organization. Is The sky is the limit for these guys. And we got two first-round draft picks, two second-round draft picks. So, I'm loving it. Listen, more and more I see Florida. I love Kyle Pitts, man. You could play him. Inside, outside, back. You could use them um, in the backfield. You could use them so many different ways. I would love that guy in Miami uniform. I really do. I think he's a top 10 pick. I mean, just because he's that dynamic, and I love him. I know people are saying Smith, but, man, let me tell you something. If I could get if I could get Smith and that guy, I'm done. I know people say, oh, the running game, the running back, but I don't, me personally, guys. I don't put a lot of stack on the on that <clears throat> on the running backs. I think you could you could get one of the you, it got to be a special special running back that you know what I'm saying. I got to t take a chance on him in the first round. And when I say that is in this draft, I don't see special. I see good. I see talented, but I don't see special. I don't see Barry Sanders special. You know, I don't see that kind of special. And and. That's why I don't see. Look, look at um, Zeke. He's not really special. Yes, he came in the league, but he's not really special. Barkley, good, but not special. When I say special, guys, I say like a Barry Sanders, that he did everything for Detroit for, for a really long time, and he broke ankles, dude. Like, that dude was special. He made something out of nothing. And, and not great off his line, and he still... That's when I say special. That's a special talent, you know? So when I say special, that's what I mean for a running for a running back, and I don't see anybody special like that. Say good, decent, you know. Um, Harris is, is a nice running back from Alabama. ATM is good, but he, his, his problem with him, he doesn't like picking up the blitz. He doesn't get in there, so that's not a kind of back that they like. So to me. I don't put a lot of stock. You could get a second round, third round. I know people say, oh, we missed this guy, that guy. Yeah, I don't think they missed. I think they built the offensive line. Did they want they want to do the last draft? I think this draft, don't be shocked, guys, if this draft is our offense and free agency, they sign um, defensive players. And I'm fine with that. Sign your defensive players. Fine. Maybe JJ Wright be out there and you could bring him in for, for cheap. Not too cheap, but some kind of decent price and, and see what you could get. Because I'm telling you, this defense could be special. If you get one more pass rusher in there, it's going to be a special defense. Because you already got Davis, Wilkins. You already got your safeties. You already got Needham, X, Jones. I mean, and, and you still got Noah back there that that hopefully he, he gets more time, more praying time, more reps. But again, everybody been asked about Noah. The kid's fine. Um, listen, it's a hard cornerback. It's a hard position to even get in the field your first year. But the kid's gonna be fine. He's gonna be really fine. So, um, so I like I like when we're going in the direction. So I'm just saying, I can't wait for next year's draft, and we could just draft and and bring a lot more weapons and and see really what to work. Um, really unleashed tour and, and that's gonna be that's gonna be exciting and I can't wait for next week because I want to see how great is my defense you know the secondary especially because Patrick Mahomes is amazing for next week and and I want to see how special is our defense our secondary because if our secondary could lock down those guys 
then you know you got something special. So I'm so excited about next week, but I know it's this week we got to focus on eight and go in and four and see what happens next week. But guys, that's my thoughts. Tell me what you think. Um, do you agree, disagree? And, and tell me your preference for the draft. Tell me who y'all would like in the draft if y'all saw anybody. But just let me know and I'll comment below and I'll get back to y'all. So guys, I'm out. Thanks so much for watching this video and all my support. And remember, hit that subscribe button. Let's grow this show together. Let's be part of something special like what the Dolphins are building. So this is what we're building together. So guys, thank you so much. God bless. See you later, guys.